got to wonder who's letting her do this. And B, you've got to wonder know? who's watching. This. Because they're so pink, it looks like he's got like fingers in there and stuff like that. Like they look disgusting. Oh, he, he's, in, he's, he's loving it. Weird kids. This is what we want. More weird kids. Sometimes I just like to show Lawrence videos, uh, freak them out a little bit. Well, we'll see if you do. Grizzly man, we did that. We're going back to a root sort of thing. Not people who are out and out asking for death the way he did, yeah. but maybe tempting a few people to come and kill them. Really? Um, do you know how I like ASMR? Yeah. For those who don't know, ASMR. I already want out. ASMR is uh, when, when mainly women, they whisper into their microphones like, the thing is, for me personally, a woman talking quietly relaxes me. It's a rarity. Mostly when women talk to me, I get anxiety. I feel a bit on edge. Right. Whereas when these... Because you don't know how to be around them. Well, when these... Insecure. No, not really. But oh. when these girls do it, they do it so peacefully. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it relaxes me and it's something to be celebrated. It's a, it's a rarity. <laughs> women speaking quietly, a rarity. Right. Um, so I just want people to say sort of if they haven't, and you, because you're like the audience to me here. I'm sort of taking you down... The rabbit hole. Right. Okay. Probably so you've got Cardi through. B there. Um, oh, some good ones. Oh, get the weird looking guy. Get, um, I mean, <laughs> he does look weird, doesn't he? Wow. I wasn't <laughs> expecting to see him here. I was sort of looking for the hot girls, but we'll go with it. Hello. Sorry about the wait. My name is Maddie. Welcome to Tingle Cuts. How are you? Oh, I feel good. Good. <laughs> Waiting for replies. He needs those eyebrows done, doesn't he? Bless him. They I actually quite like them. Bushy eyebrows. I was thinking they were quite um, endearing. I've Imagine you're his colleague at work, and you <sighs> you don't know he does this, and then one day this just pops up and you're recommended. This guy normally just does HR. He's sitting in the office and just going, yeah, of course I'll get that typed up for you. And then you see this. And he's saying the same thing in the <laughs> video. <laughs> hey, how are you? Okay, great. I need a few minutes to uh, get my station ready. Get your shit together, Matty. Fucking hell. You should have had this ready before you switched the fucking camera on. <laughs> Is this one of those things where he's pretending we're in the room with him? Do you know what I'm thinking, though? If I'm stressed out from work, the last thing I want to do is hear about his shit. Yeah, about how he's exactly. struggling. If I've been dealing with cunts who can't get their act together all day at work, then why do I want to hear him? Imagine if you did your video. Imagine if we did the kickoff like this. Welcome back to the kickoff. On today's show, we'll be watching the football. Is that something that's good for you? <laughs> but now you mention it, I really want to start the next show like that. He's taking a photograph of a camera, taking a video yeah, of him. We've got to pretend it's us. We're in Inception. Oh, <laughs> I blinked. He seems like the type of person who, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. would take all of these photographs of all of these people. Keep and them. then one day, you go into his living room. And they're, and they're all over the wall. <laughs> but weirdly, with bits of, <laughs> bits of string between them, and all of the bits of string lead back to him. Oh, forget about it. Hey, forget she's, about it. She's doing impressions now. Who are you talking to? I get the feeling she frames up not for her face. She's cut off half her head. You have to be, and I'm just going to put this out there, a little crazy turned on to like some of this I, stuff sometimes. I think so this is this is the point right so that you're getting to the similar point that you, you know a lot of men get to when they watch this sort of stuff I don't think I have um, this is where it's a little bit weird okay so there's a lot of girls who have been doing this who are like you know grown women mm. who are attractive and men are watching them because they're kind of into it I think I know where this is going and then unfortunately like it's just getting a, a little bit really weird because kids are now doing it mm. and I kind of when I watched this I was like I want to see Lawrence's reaction to this so I'm guessing before we start this she's innocently doing what the adults are doing thinking she's doing I think right. you're on the right lines right but there's a point where A you've got to wonder who's letting her do this yeah and B you've got do to wonder not? Who's watching this? Well, apparently, a lot of people. Well, two million people watch this one. Subs in the last 30 days, 200,000 for this child. Do you think she may be a person of smaller... A, a little person? Yes. No, I no. think she's a, she's a whatever, 12-year-old girl or something Fully like grown 12-year-old girl. Who's currently making between 4000 and $75,000 a month. Do you ever... <laughs> <laughs> this is mental. Imagine giving her pocket money. Imagine... What are you going to do? You're grounded. No, she's paying the rent, mum. Yeah. Dad, can I borrow your car keys? Why are you wearing that cop uniform? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Why is Missy sitting in the car in a full police uniform with a... Is that a microphone she's got there? She's setting up a camera. <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> Someone's holding the camera. Mm. Who's holding the camera? Who's holding the camera? I thought that was on a tripod. Mm -hmm. So not only this, she's got another mates involved. Or a mother. Because mm -hmm. I've had a pop before about families who do vlogs, and I think yeah. it's weird when parents push their kids in front of the camera to make money off of them. Yeah. That's so weird. Let me tell you something ASMR. This is weird as fuck. 
Luke. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Okay. This is another ASMR thing I've heard about. What? what There's a lot of the nail thing. That's not relaxing. It, no. None of this is relaxing. Yeah. You've just been pulled over. <laughs> if I'm about to get a speeding ticket, I'm not like, this is relaxing. Imagine you'd got one earlier that day and exactly. then you sit down and watch this. Especially from a 12-year-old cop. You know they're going to be petty. Do you know what it is? You know you've been fucking dumb if a 12-year-old can catch you. Yeah. Again, I'll just be very clear. This is now unrealistic. If a policeman was made to wait this long for you to wind the window down, you'd, be gone. you'd, be, you'd either be gone or there'd be a gun out. Angry. She's saying roll the window down repeatedly. She's clearly not wearing her own sunglasses. Do you know why I pulled you over? Police don't lean in. Like this. <laughs> Unrealistic. Being stupid isn't a crime. She's, She's good at shit talking though. She <laughs> cracked out the old one. Literally. She must have watched her mother speak to her father like that many times. Her father must be the biggest cuck. Mm. Imagine you're letting your 12 year old daughter just talk shit like this on the internet. This does not look like a licensed police vehicle. <laughs> Little kids do weird things. Oh, like, yeah. She's obviously not aware of what she's doing and probably how it looks. Like, in, in five years, she's going to wish that she never made this. And I yeah. understand. And yeah. but I'm talking about the people around her. That's yeah. the weirdest Stop thing her. about this. She's, she's mm. a menace to society. I'm an officer of the LAW. They often say that. I'm an officer of the LAW. I was expecting PD there. Yeah. That was a total letdown. <laughs> She is a cute little kid, that's it. Like, she seems lovely. She's an innocent little kid, but yeah. it, the whole thing is just so weird. Let's tell it how it is, all right? Whispering and role play, two things commonly associated with sex. So this is weird shit we're watching. It, this it, is it, normalised it, weird shit. It's already weird shit. Yeah. And then letting a child do it makes it, it even, even weirder. Don't get me wrong. I think you can do the whole whispering thing without it being sexualised. Yeah, absolutely. But when you start dressing up mm. and role playing, mm. I think this might be the weirdest shit I've ever watched on the internet that isn't like porn related. Oh, I'm a million Congrats on the million, though. Congrats, though, yeah. Her mother brought a bottle of vodka. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She was just wandering in. <laughs> she literally, she gets into bed at night and she goes, Greg, we've got to stop this stuff. <laughs> and and he just goes, no, let her be who she is. And he goes, seriously, Greg, I think it's getting out of hand now. Oh, God. What I keep thinking is, is like, what, there's guaranteed to be pedos out there just fiending off of this Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Like, this is soft porn sort of thing for pedos, yeah. isn't it? They're loving Do you know when you see those, um, those TV shows where the kids are like... Um, uh, doing beauty contests and the kids are like totally but then sometimes the mother's the pushy one I want to know where's the driving force here what's we the need dynamic to, we need to work out who is the boss um, when she first started I didn't know what it was so I googled it oh. I kept researching it trying to find out if it was like an inappropriate thing for children yep. that's where her, her first thought goes to is this inappropriate because she fucking knows it is she went down the correct track and, of and come to the wrong answer this is great parenting so far you, this, is this is inappropriate? It inappropriate right and then it's does it make shitloads of cash yeah well then mm. does that sound good con nah, that nah it just sounds like a it's bad isn't it Brian's funeral played this part of the video. <laughs> Brian changed my life. Can I show you something that for a very long time, I think is my favorite YouTube channel ever that I've never showed you because of waiting for one of these. This was a kid who was, when he was like 14, 15, and obviously set up his own YouTube channel. It's a two and a half minute food review though. Let me... Fuck the chicken connoisseur. This guy's the real deal. This guy's the real deal. He's the Let me real just say, deal. he finishes and he goes, it's either a buy or it's not a buy. So you're either going to buy it or not, right? <laughs> this bit's the best bit of the whole video. So this bit is... Okay. You, this will get stuck in your head for days. Ready? Go. Food reviewer. I do reviews on the YouTube. You never knew such a cool dude. I keep it so fly. And do you know why? It's because I know whether to buy that food. <laughs> It's also that it then fades out of that into... I would never expect him to be the guy <laughs> sitting there at the end of this. I love it. Crispy chicken patty with barbecue sauce. That does look good. Onion rings. Bacon. Just... Wow, that's a big bite. Just another bite. D oh, he's not done yet. He's formulating an opinion here. Well, I love this is, this every With every bite, Lawrence, he's downloading information, using his tongue. Tongue to brain. That's it. Yeah. It's a, a land connection. Bite. Wow. <laughs> I do love him. He's... He, <laughs> he's... <laughs> he's <laughs> He's bracing on the steering wheel. <laughs> it's like, do you know when you're having a piss in a, in a train <laughs> toilet and you're like, because you're really having the concert? I love him. Like, he's such a nice kid. Not bad. Not bad. Not, <laughs> Not bad. bad. 
<laughs> three bites. Not bad. Part of the reason that I think he is the way that he is, and I'm not making fun of him for the way he is, he is overweight and he acknowledges it. And Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't mean that in a nasty way. I'm just when it's that much of a struggle just to eat a burger and you're like de- breathing that deeply, <laughs> just to chew. He's, <laughs> That's a, he's not going to make the Wembley Cup team. No, so I was worried about me. He does reviews on, on the YouTube. YouTube. You never, never knew such a cool dude. dude. Hey guys, what's going on? It's a food reviewer, and welcome to my kitchen. So he's a lot younger um, here. He seems a lot more happy about life there. Yeah. You can tell this was when he actually had hope for this channel. This is 2013. Yeah. He's young, he's vibrant, he's thinking to himself, this might go somewhere. His friends uh, are watching it. And he's trying to articulate everything he's doing. Good views there, solid views. And it, by the end... <laughs> By the end, he's just a man eating in a car. About a year ago, I said I was going to do something like Recipe Corner or some bullshit like that. Some bullshit like that? (laughs) Everything's already all mixed and everything. I didn't want to show that because it's a little secret on how I do it. You're literally (laughs) doing how to cook. He's making a how to cook video and then not telling us the secret. <laughs> it's, 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 what is he preserving the secret for, though? Is he thinking one day he might have his own kitchen? He may die and, with him, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, his last breath, the secret song, <laughs> dies with me. It's just butter. <laughs> Is his ad butter. <laughs> you can tell he's one of those overweight kids who eats his feelings, bless him. And now I see why you like him. I You warm to him the more yeah. you watch. Normally, YouTubers are egomaniacs and super confident and whatever, and he's the opposite of this, Exactly. Uh, like a half a cup of... Uh, no. One and a half cups of <laughs> That's water. secret recipe. So secret, even he doesn't know it. One stick of butter... One stick. That's, he li- this is what I found funny about this video, right? And that's why I worked out this is why he's overweight. His mum's putting a whole stick of butter like, into pancake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it stuns me. <clears throat> Beautifully clean kitchen. Oh, <laughs> God. This poor guy. <laughs> Literally, what has been living in that kitchen? Obviously, heat up the... Uh, Griddle. Thing, the pan. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he's a natural. He's a natural. <laughs> This is why TV is shit and YouTube is great. Look how much he's melting on. I love where you went with this. Boom. I love where you went with this though. Weird kids. This is what we want. More weird kids. I just love he puts it down and he goes, boom. I can make a few things. I can make, I make very good French toast. Let me just say this, right? It's as if he's joined by a woman in the kitchen. I, I can make a few things. You know, I can, I can make a few beautiful dishes. Do you know when you feel a bit non-confident when you're a teenager and like totally. you, you feel a bit shit about yourself? Like he is the antithesis of like how we all feel in day. Like he is that exactly. kid. Do you know what I mean? And he's just eating his feel. Like I was, I was just like him. And you want him to succeed? Oh, like yeah. I'm watching this, thinking, I hope these pancakes are good for you. But unfortunately, as we know, this was five years ago, and now <laughs> things haven't gone well. <laughs> things haven't gone well at all. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm sorry, son. I get a little cocky, and just you know, fucking go crazy and take it out a few minutes early or something like that. He's going fucking crazy. <laughs> he's taking it out a few minutes early. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> he's fuck it all up. And- Get sick from it. Get sick. Don't melt the cheese enough. So, what about... He, he thinks he's getting sick from not melting the cheese enough. No, that's salmonella from not cooking the fucking chicken, mate. Still going. That looks like he's put, like, Lucky Charms in the pancake. Which... I think I figured out the secret. Genuinely. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Um, he's just checking it. That's not golden brown. That's black. <laughs> he's burnt it. So, let's go, go ahead and flip it now. As fast as you can. Like that. that. Boom. It's burned. Boom. Boom. <laughs> So I want to know where his parents are. Like, oh. if they're if he goes, Mom, just stay in the living room for a little while. I need to be cooking in the kitchen. All you can hear from me outside is just fuck it. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. It's it's just thick and lumpy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. He's not mixed that well. It's Unless just, those are blueberries. <laughs> this, is, this is an absolute state. <laughs> like, if he was your son, you'd be like, What are we gonna do with this? Yeah. Kid? What are what are we gonna do? Sorry? He's made a lot. What, he's he's gonna put butter on it again. <laughs> he's just like a Brit stick. <laughs> it's, his, it's his flagrant swearing that I love the most. This is panda fuck. How much? How much lathering? <laughs> I like to have a nice stack, but they're, that, they're not small. I mean, because because they're so pink, it looks like he's got like fingers in there and stuff like that. Like they look disgusting. Make no mistake, they are disgusting. What a mess that is. <laughs> oh, this. this is <laughs> I'm not a big fan of pure maple syrup. But I had some earlier today, and I was I just of course you did. fell in love. He does yeah. come out with like little chefisms every oh, yeah. now and again. He yeah. goes, I, I had some a little earlier, and I just fell in love. Can we just see him yes. drizzle? I just want, he yeah. said he said he's drizzle. not a fan of this. Can we just see how <laughs> not a fan he is? <laughs> Fucking portable. 
fucking bottle on it. He's not a fan of the thing. He's just imagine what he does when he's a fan of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's not a fan of that syrup. Like I'm not a fan of pussy. Like yeah. he is all over this. Right exactly. Now. He's actually gonna eat that. I hope so. Ask him over to the table I love him I really love this this guy's an unsung hero have you ever seen making a murderer like yes. he could be one of the family yeah but that's what I like about yeah. it like the family are so honest and nice some yeah. of them do you know what well, I mean we say that we don't know the verdict mm, heavy. Wow. Heavy. heavy he wanted them light and fluffy oh he, he's in he's, 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 he's loving it he is in his element he just wowed <laughs> he's having a rest so good. wow oh. <laughs> I feel like they're so thick he needs a drink of milk with these bad boys. Or crayon. You can tell he's like... <laughs> yeah, he's getting his ASMR on here. I love it. This was pre-ASMR. There's a one reason. <laughs> he can't even talk. <laughs> because they're so thick. There's so much pancake in him. Cinnamon just overtakes the flavor of the syrup. Everything. Here's what I love about him. He's giving a real serious review of this. Like, yeah. what kind of life is he living where he's actually th thinking about the ratios oh. of cinnamon to syrup to pancake? It's just too much cinnamon. Uh, he looks down. The disappointment. Yeah. Hella good. Hella good. That's what I love about him. One extreme to another. There, right. There's a guy um, I seen the other day who's in I'm Team upset. 10. Um, let's see if I can find I want to know what you think of this kid. I looked through a couple of his videos the other day because he seems to be like a big name. But then when I watched his videos, I was like, "Why? Why? Yeah, right. why? Why? This is this." By the way, I've never seen this guy before. I don't understand why, but Jake Paul got him involved in Team Ten. Uh, only people in Team Ten allowed with two first names: Justin Roberts, Jake Paul, yeah, Michael it, Michelson. It is strange, isn't it? What is up, guys? So my name is Justin Roberts, and you might have seen me in Jake Paul's vlogs lately. I've been hanging around the Team Ten house for about a week now. He's gone for the emotional music because someone's left Team 10, basically. Uh, he's been there a week, though, so he doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't know them. He doesn't give a shit. He's probably forced them out. Some drama that has been happening with Chance and Anthony, and I just want to tell you guys my side of the story. Your side of the story is you've been there a week, son. You don't give a fuck. You don't know these guys. Make some it's, pancakes. It's really nothing to do with you. No, it was pretty okay. And then just like one day, it was just like... One day. Was that day six? It was day five. Everything had been five from day one, two, yeah. and three, and four, but... <laughs> One day, it just, it just went all wrong. He's making emotional music as if he's like, uh, he's been in the house three years and it's all ending for him. Like, you've been there a week. So he's just released a music video and I wanted to get your opinion on it. Right. We'll watch his music video and yeah. we'll see what we think of it. Open minds. Six figures, I was only four. Six figures, I was only four. Dead heart you. <laughs> I ain't even say bless you. bless you. She sneezed and he didn't uh, bless her. Rude. This guy is the, um, I, I don't, he's a young guy. So I don't like to shoot people down. He's a kid. Do you know what I mean? This is about the young YouTubers coming out. Right? Mm. Jake Paul wants to try and create something special with Team 10. Mm. And I rate that idea of like, you know, you're going to find the young talent and bring them up. Do you know what I mean? We're trying to do similar things with XO. Yeah. This guy is just the most talentless, boring cunt you could ever meet in your entire life. Some of life. his rhymes, though. Other than the guy's got money, why on earth would Jake bring this kid into the fold? Like, like they're trying to make him into a star. It's not going to happen. Jealousy's it's not, an ugly emotion, is, Brian. Not going to happen, mate. Not going to happen. Jealousy's an ugly emotion. Right, let's, let's, give him another verse, see if it gets any okay. better. The, the only girls, good, by the way, thrilled to be there with the, him. Yeah, the only good thing about the video is the girls, and even they look fucking sick of their lives, bless right. them. Selling out arenas just to see me. He's not selling out any arenas. No. This kid could not sell out an arena. You're talking shit, mate. You're Jake Paul's fucking errand boy. She said life's not fair. It isn't. Not a, no. I said my face in Times Square. So, like, I understand not every rap is supposed to be, like, lyrical. No. But this is just dog shit. Yeah. Absolute dog shit. He eats at Nobu. She asked if she could. He said... No, boo. Like, so. this, is this where YouTube's headed? I don't know. I really hope so, because it's going to make our content a lot easier and wake us look amazing. Yeah, this yeah. is good. This is good. He's propping us up. I should be thanking him. Yeah. Just, this is a message direct to Justin. R Justin, you make me look great. My girlfriend wanted to elope. Why? My grandma said no. That's, not, that's literally the opposite of eloping. So if you're thinking of eloping, you don't go to your grandma and go, Thinking of eloping, grandma. Of course, the grandma's going to go. No, don't go. The whole point of eloping is you don't tell your family. Yeah, you haven't thought this through, Justin. Yeah, she's not thinking of eloping. She's asking if you can leave because you're surrounded by assholes. Yeah. Oh fuck this cunt! All right, I'm done. You know what? If you want to see us watch stuff, please send it in. Yeah, no, no, send, we're going to do more of this sort of stuff because wow. sometimes, um, yeah, I just fancy doing a bit of 
bullshit on YouTube. I, I quite enjoyed watching this. To be honest, I think we should have some lunch and watch Tyler cook some lunch. Okay, let's do that. If you have any problems with anything we've said, don't forget to leave a comment, which I won't read. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.